let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you woke up one day and found out your website had been hacked? Maybe your website's been suspended by your hosting company, or even worse, maybe it's completely disappeared, or been replaced by something you definitely don't want your customers to see. It's every business owner's worst nightmare. In truth, some businesses can never recover from that kind of data loss. So how can you protect yourself? Well, keep watching, because I'm gonna give you a plan of attack to protect your online property. I'll explain who's really responsible for securing your website. I'll explain how expensive hacking can be for your business. I'll explain how most hacks occur and how you can stop them dead in their track. And I'll give you five low cost ways to protect your website and your online reputation. Does that sound like a plan? Great, come on then, let's get cracking. the founder of PickerWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes and we host tens of thousands of websites so I've got plenty of experience in helping my customers secure their website. So first up, who's responsible for your website security? Well let me give you an analogy. Think of web hosting as being like an apartment block. Your hosting company is responsible for ensuring that the front door and any other entrances are fully secure. They'll also ensure that all facilities are up to date, safe and fully functioning and that they comply with all the latest regulations and best practices. However, we can't control what goes on within each apartment in the apartment block. So in the same way as you're responsible for what happens inside your apartment, it's the same with your hosting. You're responsible for what happens within your hosting account. So how much would it cost if you did get hacked? In the worst case scenario, you're gonna need an experienced developer. Now, if we assume that you can get hold of one, you're looking at around 75 pounds an hour. If it's a weekend or a holiday, you can double that. You're gonna be in for maybe seven or eight hours. At double time, you're looking at a thousand pounds easily. And this is all assuming that they have access to the most recent backup of your data. You are backing your data up, aren't you? Okay, so let's quickly understand how hacks actually occur. Well, hackers don't publish their modus operandi, but basically they're looking for any weakness in your website that they can exploit. It could be out of date software, weak passwords, whatever. Usually it's nothing personal against you. They haven't singled you out as an individual or as a business. They just use automated tools to look for weaknesses. And when they find one, they just do their stuff. But once they've got control, they can do all sorts of damage, whether it's just defacing your website or sending phishing emails out or using your uh, website as part of a larger dedicated denial of service or DDoS attack. But you can protect yourself. So here are five low cost ways that you can protect your website against being hacked. Okay, first up, perform regular automated backups. Data backup, it's your first line of defense. If your data's safe, you've got a good chance that you can recover. You can manually back up your data using the cPanel backup feature, but you know, we're all busy and sometimes these things just get missed. But the belt and braces approach is where you use an automated and regular backup service. And what it will do is back up your data to a completely different physical server. You can just set it and forget it. A secure backup service using a tool like R1Soft is money well spent. You can restore it from different data points and different dates, so you're always in total control. Annual cost, around 40 pounds. That's less than 10p per day for total peace of mind. If you do nothing else, do this to make sure that your data is safe. Okay, number two, keep your website software up to date. Now this one is a really common issue. Let's say that you're using a content management system like WordPress to build your website. It just needs to be kept up to date. You can find the latest version on the website of the software that you're using. So for example, just search on latest WordPress version in Google. And if you're using plugins, they need to be updated too. Cost to fix, zero. The only thing you need to take into account is that if you're not a technical person, just ask your hosting company for help. Otherwise, a developer can do it for you. Number three, passwords. Unfortunately, having loads of passwords just comes with the territory. You're gonna have passwords for FTP, content management systems, databases, emails, or whatever. 
keep them strong and change them frequently. There are all sorts of tools that you can use to help you manage all of your passwords. Again, low tech, low cost and easy to do. Cost to fix, zero. Number four, switch to HTTPS or SSL. Now you're probably more familiar with HTTPS as the padlock area of a website. Traditionally, it was for secure payment pages, but increasingly it's used as the basic level of website security. It's also a Google ranking factor, so more and more websites are adopting this. The way it works is to create an encrypted and impregnable link between the browser of the person looking at your website and your actual website, and that way nobody can intercept any data that's passing between the two of them. And basically what we're talking about here is being intercepted by hackers. To set this up, you're gonna need an SSL certificate. Cost to fix? Well, a basic SSL certificate is gonna cost you around 30 pounds a year. You are gonna to need to make some tweaks to your website, but an experienced developer won't take long to do that, as long as you haven't got a massive website. If you check below this video, we've got a step by step guide to migrating your website to HTTPS. Finally, number five, setting up a web application firewall or WAF. You've got an antivirus for your PC, haven't you? Well, think of a WAF as being like an antivirus for your website. It's a security software that continually monitors the traffic and code of your website, looking for malicious threats. Certain WAFs will not only identify the threat, but eliminate it so it's dealt with immediately. You'll also get a visible and clickable security shield which appears on your website so your customers and your visitors can see that your website is safe and secure. Cost to fix? Well, we've got a site lock security service that costs just £40 a year. So there you go. Sure, security costs, but it's cheaper than having little or no security at all. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a comment below. I do read them, I do get back to you, and I really appreciate it. Also, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. And don't forget to share it with your friends or anyone who you know who's got a website. Thanks for watching. Bye now.